61A Lecture Number 9 Announcements Midterm 1 scores have been returned to you by email. If you did not receive an email with your exam, you should contact us at cs61a at berkeley.edu or by posting on Piazza. It's probably not the case that we lost your exam, but instead just mislabeled it. Homework 3 is due on Thursday. It's only three problems, but they are subtle, so make sure you leave time to work on homework 3. And we're also in the middle of the optional hog strategy contest, which ends on Monday. If you'd like to learn more about building hog strategies, come to the extra lecture this afternoon, 3 p.m. in 306 Soda, where we'll talk about making decisions and accounting for the rules of probability. Okay, let's talk about the midterm. First of all, it's just midterm one. It doesn't count for that much. So don't panic about whatever score you got. I provided some indications for what scores might translate into what grades, but those are very rough. And you'll notice the difference between an A- minus and a B plus is only a few points. Well, is it true that it's only a few points in between? No, the actual grades in this course, which you can find in the grading section of the policies page, have fairly large ranges. So there's a 20 point difference between the bottom of the B plus range and the top of the B plus range. And 20 points is like half the points on the midterm. So that's what I mean when I say midterm one doesn't count for very much. It's absolute contribution to your final grade is small and most of the points in this course have yet to come. One way to think about one of these scores like 205 is that if you work hard on all your homeworks and projects, you can get full credit on those. If you have swept a section, you can get full credit on that. In fact, it's not uncommon for students to get more than 100% on those parts of the course if they continue to work hard throughout the course because they can get early submission bonus points and there are some extra credit problems on project three and four. So you might get five or 10 points of extra credit, which means that you can lose 100 or maybe even 105 points of exam credit and still get a B minus. Now, how many points have you lost so far? Certainly no more than 40. If you did in fact get a zero on midterm one, you actually haven't lost 40 points. Instead, we have a participation policy that encourages you to keep coming to lab and discussion and gives you some midterm points back if you had a hard time on the midterm. So if you keep attending almost everything, lab discussion, lab checkoffs, then you'll accumulate about 30 participation credits throughout the course of the semester. And that means if your exam score on midterm one was a zero, you'll actually recover 10 points. And that means you'll get 10 out of 40 instead of zero out of 40 when we compute your final grade. Now, if your exam score was higher, like a 12, then you recover fewer points, but some. So you'd recover four points and go up to a 16 out of 40. Now, if you got a high score on the midterm, like a 30, then this participation policy doesn't help you at all. You still need to do 10 different things for participation credit, like coming to discussion or turning in labs. But after that, you can consider discussion and lab attendance as optional. But if you want this buffer to make sure that if you ever get a really low midterm two score, you can recover, based on our midterm recovery policy, then I recommend continuing to come to discussion, continuing to turn in your labs. And from here on out in the course, if you come to lab, we'll actually have ways to earn participation credit there through a lab checkoff procedure where one of the lab assistants or TAs will ask you a few questions about lab and try to give you some tips on problem solving. So the point of all this is to say that regardless of what score you got on midterm one, things aren't so bad. Most of the points have yet to come, and I would strongly recommend focusing on the future rather than worrying too much about your midterm one score.